So Merry Christmas, and if you don't celebrate Christmas, happy whatever holiday you do celebrate. It is Christmas Day, and this is our winter. I could have done this update out inside where it's nice and warm and comfortable, but I decided to come out in this snowy hellscape <laughs> just because people seem to enjoy the scenery of our winter, and this is it. This is our winter. It is, it starts snowing and it doesn't stop. So basically, this is why I don't ever do any, during the winter, I don't really do updates outside and why the homestead basically shuts down. Because other than caring for animals and shoveling snow, there's nothing to do out here. <laughs> Just snow, 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 snow. It is very pretty, don't get me wrong. I actually like the snow. I like living in the north, despite the fact that I love outside things, gardening and the like. I like it less now that I'm older, I guess. But <laughs> now it's just cold and annoying, I guess, for the most part. But it is beautiful, and I love living in the north. I don't, I'm not much of a heat person, despite the fact that I, I dream about living in a subtropical environment where I can grow crazy fruit trees and grow all year round. I just am a northern person. I don't really like the heat. I'll take the cold over the heat because then it gives me an excuse to go inside, snuggle down by the fire. And this season, this winter is, the, the, the joy of it is too, because of that excuse to just be inside and be warm and be snuggly and drink hot cocoa and sit by a fireplace and not do much of anything. And that's actually really, really cool. We have. You know, a homestead in the north means that we have a very distinct break. <laughs> you have that rest period where the world is very dark, very cold and very dark. And it's basically just, as I see it, part of that cycle, that homestead cycle. And it is sort of nature saying, hey, it's time to take a break. It's time to relax. It's time to do something else. And I do do something else. Now, I miss gardening. So inside I have projects going, which I'll be doing in upcoming videos very soon where I uh, grow indoors just to keep myself in that gardening mindset and, and the joy and the pleasure and the therapy that is growing food, growing plants in general. I still have an ability to do that even when this much snow is on the ground. So, but it's, what's also nice about this is it's a good time to write and it's a good time to pursue those activities that I enjoy that are, are more about, that can be done sort of sitting down and snuggling in. So that's, I didn't really have a particular topic for this video, but I did want to mention that I've started publishing a novel and I wanted to let everyone, all of you know about it. It is not homestead based, it's actually science fiction. Um, this is a novel that I share it only because you may be of interest and if you do like sci-fi novels, you do like fiction, then this could be another way to support the homestead because I am selling it on Amazon. So, you know, I published it through the Kindle program. It's only an ebook right now. Um, I'm publishing it as a serial fiction. So I'm actually releasing a book a little bit at a time and it's gonna be this big long epic book, most of which I've written. I need to sit down and write the end, but I am releasing the rest of it. This is something I've actually been working on over the course of a decade. A little by little, kind of like on my lunch breaks, write a paragraph or two. So it's actually taken me a long time to writ write this. I actually have written a few other novels that I'll probably also be publishing. But if it's at all, in if it's of any interest to you, I'll provide a link to it in the the first episode, as I am calling it, in the link below. Maybe it's something you're into. Maybe not. Ninety nine cents, you can't beat it, and it's a way to support my homestead with getting something that you actually enjoy instead of some t-shirt that you will just throw in a drawer and ignore. So uh, I just wanted to let you know about that. And uh, yeah, that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. My camera's about to die. So again, happy holidays to you. Happy winter. And thank you so much for watching and enjoying this winter with me. Thank you for your support. Bye-bye. <laughs>